Star Alliance Man 839 coming to you guys with an Australasia uh, International Airport. So I've got airliners from New Zealand, Australia, uh, mainly areas around there. So I've decided to make a little airport update uh, to do a collection of the models that I don't usually have in airport updates and as well as models that I'll be selling in the future uh, very soon. So I'll get to those and um, as you can see I'll just, I've also got a cargo terminal over here and I'll just jump right into it. So. I've got the full terminal set over here, and I would love to have a mat, but sadly I don't really have the money for it right now, so hopefully in the future I'll get a mat for this, but I mean, it's quite rare to get it, so hopefully maybe sometime I'll get a mat for the uh, full airport terminal set, originally from Gemini Jets, and um, so I'm really just going to jump right into this airport update. I've got a variety of airliners from uh, America, mainly Asia, as well as uh, New Zealand and Australia. So I'll just get started, um, so i got a cargo bay over here as well with carriers such as FedEx, Asian cargo carriers. So I'll get started with this Emirates A380. Um, don't usually have this in airport updates, and this is heading off to Dubai. We've got a fuel truck with that as well. Air New Zealand 777 300ZK-OKO, -okay currently repainted right now in one of the Hobbit liveries, but anyways, off to Los Angeles. Um, Thai 777 300R, um, beautiful model this one, I'll I uh, will be selling this model though, um, just I really would like the money for it right now, so uh, that's what I'll be doing very soon on eBay, so uh, if you want to look out for this model, just check it out, Thai 777 300R, um, anyways off to Bangkok, uh, actually tr uh, 777 200R Star Alliance Silvery of a a coming in from Tokyo, Haneda, uh, TAM 767 300R, uh, off to Rio de Janeiro, over here I got a TAM A330-200, uh, this aircraft's off to Brasilia, and by the, and by the way I'll be selling both of these aircraft, um, sadly TAM is really, I'm not really having any use out of them, um, plus they left Star Alliance, so really not a fan of them right now, but um, anyways, uh, TAM aircraft, I'll, I'll be selling all of my TAM aircraft, I still have another 777-300ER, and uh, anyways this one's off to Brasilia right now. And over here I got a Singapore Airlines 777-200DR, probably going to be selling this, um, or I just might keep it, I'm not entirely sure. Singapore Airlines 777-200DR off to Singapore, and then I got a TAM 777-300DR, uh, this aircraft is off to Sao Paulo. So I'll be selling all three of the TAM aircraft, which is the 777-300DR, 767-300, and A330. So if you want to look out for those on eBay, I'm not really going to be looking into trading because it's... I just want to do this quite quick, hopefully if it'll sell on eBay, so um, I'm going to be doing that fairly soon, so if you're, just look out for the Thai and the TAM aircraft if you're interested. Um, also on this side of the terminal, uh, we've got an Air New Zealand 777-200ER, still in the old livery, uh, and this aircraft is heading off to San Francisco. We got an Air New Zealand A320 with sharklets in the old black livery coming in from Christchurch. And an and an and, and, and sorry, and a New Zealand A320 with shacklets also uh this aircraft's heading off to Wellington. Um actually I'm gonna say Auckland for this one. Heading off to Auckland and coming in from Wellington. Oh Queenstown, I'm gonna say Queenstown. Avianca A330 200 Um never have this aircraft in my updates, but heading off to Bogota. Um obviously some of these aircraft actually don't have real routes from Auckland or Sydney or something. So that's why it's kind of a mix of aircraft. So I've got different aircraft from different places um to f on some fictional routes. So um anyways, Hawaiian Airlines A330 200 off to Honolulu and then I'll complete it over there on that side. Uh with the cargo bay, we've got a Singapore Airlines Cargo 747 400F off to Singapore Changi. Um, mainly using all my GSC with the cargo. China Airlines Cargo 747-400F, uh, this is off to Anchorage and continuing on to Taipei. Or actually, this can't go straight to Anchorage, I'm just going to say off to Taipei. Uh, FedEx MD-11F off to Los Angeles and continuing on to Memphis. And then another FedEx MD-11 off to Honolulu and continuing on to LAX. And then we've got a FedEx uh, Shorts 360. Never used this aircraft, but I've always had it. It's my smallest model. Uh, anyways, FedEx Feeder Shorts 360 off to on a very short route. Um, probably just gonna say off to Christchurch, in New Zealand. So that's the main aircraft in the cargo bay. Um, really, only got two separate terminals: one for the international, one for FedEx. So um, yeah, it's a pretty good-looking cargo bay, in my opinion. Um, 
and back to the terminal, I'll continue that. So I'm on the side, uh, and so I'll continue with the airport update right here. So over here we got a United Airlines 747-400SP. Um, this is one of my favorite United traditional aircraft. Uh, I recently got this actually off eBay, and this is actually in the Friendship 1 livery. Really a fan of this. Um, so really happy I have it in my collection right now, the United Airlines 747-SP. Uh, anyways, on a route off to Los Angeles. And then a United Airlines 747-400 in the Blue Tulip livery off to San Francisco. Um, this is sadly not operating to Sydney anymore, so um, yeah, you guys know that anyways. Uh, off to San Francisco right now. And continuing here, we've got a LAN, uh, I, I'm not sure which one it is, I think there's LAN Peru and LAN Chile. Um, anyways, LAN 767-300ER, this one's off to Lima. And then we've got a LAN A320 with Sharklets off to Sant uh, Santiago. Um, I never used the LAN A320, and I've always had this aircraft, so decided to get use of it. I actually will be selling the LAN A320. Um, sadly, it really didn't have any use for me. Um, like I said, I really need the money, so um, probably going to be selling this, and going to be selling the Avianca as well. So a few models will be gone, but then again, um, probably be probably going to be getting new models from new releases, which I'll talk about at the end of the video. Um, with the money that I get off those. Anyways, we've got a Korean Air 747-400, uh, just holding short off to Seoul. And then just coming in is a Qantas 767-200. Um, this is one of my aircraft that I've had for quite a long time. Um, and he, the last time I showed this was about two years ago. Uh, anyways, a Qantas 767-200. Um, I believe this is quite a rare model uh, coming in from Sydney. So yeah, uh, obviously Qantas doesn't operate those anymore, but still, um, that's one of the uh, aircraft that I've got in the airport. So anyways, um, thanks very much for watching, that's about it for the main airport part. Um, probably going to do another slideshow of this soon, and um, then I'll make another airport of San Francisco or something. So that's probably going to be the case. Um, anyways, thanks very much for watching, and I'll just go through the modern, for, uh, for, the, re for the June releases of 2014 from Gemini Jets. Uh, obviously looking into the United Express COJ 700, one of the favorite releases I've ever seen um, in a very long time. Very happy to see that being released, and hopefully I'll see more CRJ 700s like American Eagle and stuff uh, released soon. And also I'll be getting the Delta 753, that's a very, very good release. Uh, the DC-10 is also quite a good release, or sorry, I think it's the MD-10, whatever. Uh, MD-10F, um, really great aircraft from FedEx as well, so some really awesome releases, but definitely looking into those mainly aircraft that I'll be getting. Probably the 739 from Delta as well. So anyways, thanks very much for watching. Uh, probably won't do a separate video for the releases, but um, anyways, thanks very much for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next airport update. Um, once again, I'll do another slideshow of this. Hopefully the music won't get jumped up and everything. But anyways, thanks very much for watching, <laughs> and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Once again, I, I actually would like to apologize for my uh, updates being a little damp. Um, I, I just don't think it's really going that great right now, so um, hopefully my updates will be a little better soon. But uh, do comment on that in the comments section if you've watched this, this, if you watched it this far. Anyways, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.